Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing a video on some new desktop wireless adapters from none other than Intel. This is sort of a new market, or sort of partially new market that Intel is branching into. We have two products to share with you guys today. Uh, one is more geared towards professionals, one's more geared towards home use. But uh, let's get started with a closer look at the retail boxes. So here's a look at our first product. This is the Wireless N2200 desktop wireless adapter. It's uh, 300 megabits per second. It has an optimized antenna and it operates in the 2.4 gigahertz range. So this is designed for use with a desktop computer. It is a riser card, which I'll show you in just a, just a moment here. It operates on a single band, 2.4 gigahertz, 802.11 B, G, and N compatible. Uh, again, 300 megabits per second throughput. Uh, it's a PCI Express X1 card, and you also get Intel wireless display capability if you're using compatible hardware. This is the wireless, I'm sorry, the uh, Advanced N6205. This is designed uh, more for professional use or for folks who want a bit more uh, features out of the adapter. This one's actually a dual band uh, desktop adapter, so it will operate on the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz band. Here's a closer look at the optimized antenna that Intel has included. Uh, you do get this with either of the wireless devices we're showing today, either the uh, 2200 or the 6205. And uh, the reason that they've gone with this antenna design, sort of a fixed uh, external antenna, is a few. And to sort of demonstrate these, I'm going to show you guys a different type of antenna. This is called a dipole antenna. And uh, you'll find these in a lot of routers and other wireless devices, but there are some drawbacks to dipole antennas, and let me briefly demonstrate them. For instance, if you have your card at the back of your computer, and you have dipole antenna antennas attached, excuse me, first off, you have your entire computer, which is right here, and that could be uh, actually blocking your signal. The second thing is that if you have two or three of these antenna, you can position them yourself, but there's always a question of where the optimal positioning is. And uh, also, if the antennas ever get moved around, they can come into contact with each other. They can actually block their own signal or essentially function as a, sig as a single antenna rather than uh, two or three of them. And that uh, is going to hurt your signal strength. So this antenna by Intel is going to solve a few of those problems. Uh, first off, you will notice there's two connectors down here that runs in into a four-foot dual cable up into the antenna itself. Uh, the cable itself serves the purpose of allowing you to pr place this antenna somewhere further away from your actual uh, computer system. So you can get it out from behind where your desktop computer is uh, to give yourself a better, better signal and less interference. Uh, the other part of this is that uh, this is a 2x2 two two antenna. So it actually has two antenna elements. One is at either corner of this uh, fixed antenna design and uh, that's giving you two access points or two channels uh, to communicate with. The 802.11 spec has something called multiple input multiple output. I should say 802.11n spec has uh, multiple input multiple output or MIMO or MIMO depending on how you feel that should be pronounced uh, and that gives you something called redundant sampling. Basically uh, it can communicate on either of those elements uh, and whether it's getting a signal on either one, it can actually um, help to increase your signal strength, uh, to increase your uh, data throughput, and also uh, will give you the ability to position the actual wireless antenna further from your access point and still get a good connection and signal. Now, you folks at home might be familiar already with wireless networks and home wireless networking, but uh, the folks at Intel have a few more tricks up their sleeve, so we're going to set up a quick demonstration. Here on my left, we have uh, an, a, a computer system. Uh, this system does have a third generation Intel Core processor, and as you can see, it also has the Intel Centrino Wireless N. Uh, this is the Advanced N6205 card that we have installed, but the technologies we're about to demonstrate are functional on either of these two units. Also on my right, we have this Samsung Notebook. This hap one happens to be based on a second generation Intel Core processor, a mobile one, but also has an Intel Centrino wireless adapter installed. So here's a quick demonstration of the Intel My Wi-Fi dashboard, which is a bit of software which works with the Centrino wireless desktop card to give you some additional functionality apart from the just basic wireless connection. Uh, so here, once we launch the software, we can see the Samsung Ultrabook uh, that's already up and running and also running this software. Uh, you'll notice there's a little heart on it and that means that it's added as a favorite. Uh, so for instance, if you're in an environment where you have multiple computers, you want to use this uh, connection to uh, connect 
directly from one computer to another, you can use that. Um, any computers that are added that uh, pop up on the network will show up here as well. On the right side, uh, you have some basic wireless functions. You can turn your wireless device on or off. You can also set it up as a hotspot. So for instance, let's say at home you have a 2.4 gigahertz router and uh, you want to make use of the 5 gigahertz band because maybe it's a little bit uh, less crowded or you have some additional stuff you want to do. You can actually uh, plug your router in via wire connection directly to your computer and then you can set up your wireless card as a hotspot so other computers or wireless devices or uh, other, other laptops or a smartphone can connect directly to it and uh, can make use of some of those extra features as well as the dual band capability. That's assuming of course you're using the 6205 version of the card. Also, uh, with the connected computers that you can see in the network, you can have some other functions you can do. You can set them up as favorites. Uh, you can uh, manage some individual settings for them. Also, you have the capability to directly send files from one device to another. All you do is take the file, um, this is an example, drag it and drop it here. The other computer will be prompted uh, to accept that file, and then you can, you can send the file directly from one computer to another. You can also, also initiate a direct chat session from one computer to another, and then uh, you can use this connect function to directly connect them, which is uh, sort of on top of the existing connection, which uses the Wi-Fi direct uh, standard, which is established by the IEEE. And finally, we're going to do a quick demonstration of one of the coolest things that these uh, desktop wireless adapters can do, and that is WiDi, or Intel's wireless display technology. Now, uh, just to show you guys what we're running here, on the left here is a computer monitor, but essentially this is serving as, uh, pretend it's a home theater uh, large screen television or something like that. Anything uh, that has a, an HDMI input, we have that connected just simply to our D-Link WiDi receiver. Now you can also get large screen televisions now that have the WiDi receiver integrated, so that's another possibility. Uh, if not, you can also purchase something like this WiDi receiver separately. Apart from that, on our client system over here, we essentially need a Intel wireless display capable client um, for the purposes of this desktop. Uh, we have a third gen Ivy Bridge, uh, third gen core processor, aka Ivy Bridge, installed in here, and we're running off of the integrated GPU that's part of that. So, uh, whatever system you have needs to have access to that integrated GPU. If you happen to be running a discrete video card uh, but still have iGPU uh, video outputs on the motherboard, you can also use something like the Lucid uh, Virtue software to actively switch back and forth between those. That being said, on the right side here is actually the display that's connected to this computer. That display in the middle that says Intel, you can ignore. It's just a logo and it's connected to our computer in the background. So what we have right now is a sort of a looping video we're playing on the right and the goal is to send this video over to our home theater uh, PC or home theater display large screen TV over there. Now what we're going to do in order to do that is we're going to launch the uh, Intel WiDi application here. That's going to load up and it's automatically going to reach out via our wireless uh, adapter and it's going to say what else is in range here. Now it's recognized our main stage demo adapter here, the D-Link adapter that's over there on the left side. Uh, we've connected to it before so it's actually going to recognize it as a previously connected to uh, item. We're simply going to double click that and it will go ahead and connect and then over here on the left side we should see an extended desktop as you can see connected to Intel WiDi there. And then essentially it's just recognizing it wirelessly as an additional monitor. There we go. So uh, we have another 1080 display over there on the left side. We can move our mouse over to it. We can drag windows over to it, for example, like so. Uh, for what we're going to do right now, we're actually going to use this little widget. It's an Intel WiDi widget. It just pops up on your desktop. So if you have a system that you want to do this with regularly, this widget will actually reach out. Uh, it will recognize video content that you're playing. And with the simple click of a button, as long as that video content is selected, it will pop it over to your uh, home theater, uh, your large screen television, and automatically start playing it in full screen. And that is a very easy way to wirelessly send this content over to uh, a home theater system, something like that that you might want to actually watch video on on a regular basis. And that's going to wrap it up for this video and demonstration of these Intel Centrino desktop wireless adapters. Once again, this has been the Wireless N2200, which is the single band 2.4 gigahertz version. We also have the Advanced N6205, which is the dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz version. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.